Hey guys, my name is Kay with Jonathan and Kay, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about doing retakes or redos during the wedding day. Um, I feel like it's actually kind of a controversial topic. Some people um, don't want to alter anything on the wedding day, just let everything happen as is, and other people might actually be on the complete flip side and just stage and pose things even a little too much where nothing feels real. So what John and I do is a little bit of both, okay? We want that real reaction, that real emotion, um, but then after the real reaction happens, we'll say, okay, let's do that again. We're gonna get it from a different angle. We want this for the edit. It's just gonna look so good when it's edited together. So we only do this really for portraits, uh, the first look, and uh, bride and groom preparation. So we don't do anything like this for the ceremony or formal dances or, or the toast. Like we don't do, uh, we don't want to interrupt actual real events of the day. So I don't think you guys would do that either. Um, but just, I wanted to put that out there. So anyways, so bride and groom preparation. So so for example, for bride preparation, uh, a lot of times, you know, the bride's busy. She's talking to her mom. And next thing you know, she already put in her earrings and on her necklace. And you're like, ah, oh, that was like, you know, I had this beautiful shot set up in my mind that I really wanted to do. So all I do is like, hey, bride, whatever your name is, um, I would love it if you could just come stand over here by this beautiful window we have this really amazing natural light and I would love to just get a shot of you putting your earrings in and um, I think you would really love it for your film another area where we do retakes is when the bride and groom read the other's letter to them uh, so the first take the real take is them reading the letter quietly to themselves and that allows them to just really take it in uh, they're not worried about the cameras. They're not worried about the performance of reading because when you read, especially if it's the first time you read something, you might just be focused on it sounding good, you're being recorded, and you might not even be processing what you're saying. So we have them read it to themselves. They have the emotional response that first time. And then the second time I'll be like, oh, can you read this to the camera now? Okay, so that's kind of not really a retake, but it kind of is because that's one of the situations where we want the real uh, emotion to happen first and then we'll come in and alter it a little bit where we can get what we need for our film. So that kind of goes straight into what I'm gonna talk about with the first look. So the first look, um, we definitely want to get the real reaction. We will never ever ask a couple to fake emotion or to re do or um, like for any retakes, we don't want them to fake any emotion. So we want the real first look to happen, raw and real, and we want to make sure that we capture it. So we stay pretty safe uh, for the actual first look. And then it isn't until after the first look that we're like, okay, can we do a redo? Um, and they've been looking forward to doing the first look for months, you guys. They are usually pretty excited about doing it again. They're like, yeah, sure, let's do it again. And especially when they know that you're getting different shots, like different angles for the edit, um, they are usually more than happy to do it. The shots that we want to get that are extra are that walking behind the bride as she's walking up to her groom. And during the real first look, the photographer would be in our shot for that. And we would be in their shot for that too. Um, so that's why we will stay out of the way and we will get our safe shot uh, with the real reaction and the real motion the first time. And then we'll get that back follow shot. And um, since there's two of us, one of us is getting that and the other one is just gonna go ahead and get a different angle probably of the bride coming in close, like over the groom's shoulder kind of thing. Um, because again, uh, for the real one, we might be in the photographer's way. Um, and honestly, the photographers are usually pretty excited about doing a retake or a redo anyway, because they can also get different angles that they couldn't get the first time. The only time that we should be cautious of asking for these uh, is when the timeline is just really behind. We are just running late. The planner is like right there next to us. We're like, we got to go. We got to go. Like ceremony was supposed to start 10 minutes ago we got get out of here portraits are over okay you guys respect the timeline respect the planner and don't ask for a retake uh, in that situation so if we know we're running behind we're going to try our hardest to get um, the variety of shots that we need for the edit the first time uh, when we know that we have enough time uh, we'll just play it safe and know that knowing that we can redo some things and and the retakes you guys should only take like 
30 seconds tops. You're literally just saying, all right, turn around and come back and walk back up again. Um, it shouldn't take multiple minutes. It shouldn't take setting up new gear and people having to wait on you. The other area that we do uh, retakes and redos is if we are in a situation um, where the photographer is popping off their flash, like uh, like last last Saturday, you guys, it rained all day. So by the time that we do the bride and groom, it's nighttime. Um, it's already starting to be winter here. It was like seven o'clock or 7.30 and it was dark. Um, so we took them outside and so the photographer had to use flash, okay? So that's what I'm getting at. I'm not gonna try to tell the photographer she can't use flash. It's nighttime, she needs to use the flash. I said, hang on you guys, this is so beautiful. Let me get this shot without any flashes going off because we don't want a lot of you know, strobes going on. So um, the couple totally gets it and the photographer totally gets it. So photographer puts the camera down and then I direct them for a little bit for something that might work even a little bit better for video. And, um, and then once I'm done, the photographer can move on and next pose, flash, 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 flash. And I'm like, all right, let me get that without a, without a flash. Okay, that's kind of how it works when you're in a situation where the photographer has to be flashing. And, um, and so we just ask for a redo or a retake of that, but without a flash. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to hear more educational content from John and I. Um, I tend to do more of the creative stuff in the business, so my videos will be more creative centered and John does all of the business side of the business. So he will cover you know, packages and pricing and client relations and how to get people booked and all that kind of stuff. So please stay tuned. We would love to hear any of the feedback that you guys have for us or what you would like to learn from us. We're an open book. Uh, we wanna help you guys grow and thrive in your business and elevate your brand. So uh, just stay tuned for more and I hope you guys continue watching.